Emperor is the newest roller coaster to open up at SeaWorld San Diego. It is a dive coaster built by B&M. It opened up in the spring of 2022, sends riders up and over a 90 degree vertical drop through three inversions, hitting a max speed of 60 miles per hour. It was a ride that was a long time coming. It was, of course, originally set to open in 2020, but got delayed a full two years. It was absolutely a much needed fit for this park. Prior to this, they didn't have any big roller coasters. I mean, you have Electric Eel, which is still relatively new. That's a Skyrocket 2. Manta's a family coaster, Journey to Atlantis is a water coaster. You know, this is absolutely the most thrilling attraction that they have. And its standout moment is something that this park really needed, and that was a ride with a big drop. You know, at the end of the day, dive coasters are spectacles. Attractions that the general public look at and they're like, whoa, I want to get on that. It's a draw. They gave this ride its own plaza and everything because they knew how many people would just want to get on this ride as soon as they saw it. And overall, this attraction absolutely delivered for me, which is something I'm honestly not used to saying about dive coasters. These type of rides are not usually my favorite. In fact, they still aren't, but I can appreciate what they do. And I think Emperor solved a lot of the problems that I have with the average dive coaster. You know, at this point, I've ridden several around the world, and Emperor might be my favorite. Or if it's not my favorite, it's at least top three. So what did the Emperor do different than the rest? One word, pacing. A lot of these dive coasters are considered gimmicky rides. They are there for the drop. Emperor does not feel that way. This feels like a complete full package experience where the drop is not the only like redeeming moment of it, you know? You ride something like Griffin or Sheikra, you're riding it for the drop. And after the drop is over, everything else is like, all right, whatever. With Emperor, it feels like each element is better than the previous one. You know, this is in no way my favorite drop on a dive coaster. This is what we consider a B&M mini dive. It's a six seater across, 153 feet tall. You know, there's a lot bigger dive coasters out there. You look at something like Yukon Striker. That thing is huge. Or some of the originals like Griffin and Sheikra or all the way back to Oblivion and Alton Towers. These all have bigger drops than Emperor. So yeah, those are definitely better. But a lot of those rides feel incomplete. Like you hit the brake run and you're like, oh, you know, it was fine. And don't get me wrong, Emperor is still short. We're looking at just over 2,400 feet of track. But Emperor does not feature something that I think you could look at as a downside with some of these dive coasters. I'm talking about the mid-course brake run. It's that brief moment when the ride slows down, sometimes comes to a full stop, and then picks back up for the second half of the experience. Emperor follows you through the entire ride. It's a characteristic we've really only seen on the dive coasters over in Europe. So Emperor is definitely more comparable to something like Baron 1898 at Efteling, Valkyria at Liseberg, Oblivion the Black Hole at Gardaland. You get the idea. These are similar rides in stats as well as experience. And having done a lot of those, I feel like Emperor captured that layout in the best possible way. You know, all those other dive coasters, they do the drop, they have the Immelman. Some of them feature more inversions. A couple of them will just kind of do a helix or maybe a small airtime hill. Emperor throws you into multiple inversions. And these are not gradual, hang time, drawn out elements. These are quick paced. You know, you're getting thrown into these things. It's to the point where you hit the brake run and you're like, whoa. You know, you don't catch your breath until the ride is over. On those other dive coasters, you go through two elements and then you come to a stop at the mid-course, you take your breather then. It acts as a moment to break up the experience, which some people like. It does give those coasters an opportunity to feature a second drop. You don't get that on Emperor, but personally, I didn't miss it. I don't think that those rides need another drop. It feels like it's that coaster's way of saying, yeah, we know that we have a good drop and we're going to give it to you, but then everything else is just kind of like, whatever, you know? Emperor features a drop that is not the star of the show. It's certainly fun. You get a great view up there, pretty forceful at the bottom as well, but bottom line is Emperor is way more than just the drop. You gray out a bit there at the bottom of the drop, go into an Immelman, rotate out of that. You enter a very fast-paced overbank, then into a second inversion, you whip through this thing. The way you transition transition through this element and then flying right up against the ground immediately into your third inversion. This corkscrew is awesome. And then you end with a final bank there into the brakes. For what this ride offers, it is great. It feels like a complete ride experience. I was pretty satisfied getting off of it. And it was at a coaster 
I wanted to re-ride. A lot of these dive coasters, I just feel like, you know, maybe you go again, but probably after like two rides, you're like, okay, yeah, let's move on to the next attraction. I got probably like five rides in on this thing. I really enjoyed just going over and over again, which is something that I didn't expect to happen. Going in, I thought Emperor was going to be, eh, whatever. You know, a lot of people were making fun of this ride because when you compare it to all the other new coasters that were coming out at the Seas Park, so Pantheon, Iron Gwazi, Icebreaker, this is the one that was the most forgettable. And I kind of feel bad in saying that it still is kind of forgettable, like in the grand scheme of things. But like when I actually stopped to think about this attraction, I do think it's really fun. I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. Is it the best themed? Not even close, there's not really much here. You get a long pathway leading to the attraction. There's a couple signs in the queue talking about penguins. There's not even shade over the station. There's like a couple tarps, but that's it. They definitely budget cut this attraction. So obviously when you look at something like Baron, yeah, that's gonna feel like a much better experience because they actually took the time to theme it. But this has a heck of a lot better layout. If we're just looking at the sheer element to element, this ride versus the others, this one's the strongest. The only reason why I'm not confidently saying it's my favorite is because it still has vests. For those of you that follow the channel, you know I'm not a big fan of these vest restraints. I'm used to them by now, so it didn't bother me as much on this attraction versus some of the others. I absolutely think they're worse on rides like Val Raven. You still get some airtime, but it's not going to be as good if it were just the standard over-the-shoulder restraint. I understand why the the vests are in place. Even though Emperor is smooth, the vests do reduce the potential for head banging, so it makes sense. I just feel like it takes away from that floaty feeling that you would get on Emperor, especially if you're like riding in the back row. If this had a standard over the shoulder restraint, you would just soar out of your seat. It just feels a bit more restrictive. But maybe that's a personal preference. I'm sure it doesn't bother some people as much, and that's totally fine. So for Emperor's final score, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, and that's comparing it to other dive coasters. I do think this has the best layout out of all of them, the best pacing. I also really love the colors. What I don't love is the lack of a station, the vests, and the fact that it opened two years late. Sorry, SeaWorld, but I'm still not over that one. But if you get the chance, I definitely recommend going out to SeaWorld San Diego and checking out Emperor. This is a beautiful park. If you never been here before there's never been a better time to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to stay tuned for more here at coaster studios and i'll see you next time